Welcome to Tossa Podcast, Episode 2. Today, I'm lucky enough to be joined by none other than Tani Cook. Three months ago, our time on a crazy reality show came to an end. That was maths, and we just kind of unpack it all. We also talk about the things I do that annoy Tani, Viagra on the wedding night, can't confirm or deny it, you have to listen, and maybe her greatest love of all, One Direction. It's Tani Cook and Ollie on Tossa. Let's do it. Welcome back to you, the viewer. You are listening to the Ollie Skelton and watching if you're on the YouTube. You're engaging with the Ollie Skelton show that everybody rates. The acronym for that is TOSA. I got a very special guest today. Very, very special indeed. I'm joined by none other than my TV wife and my real life girlfriend, Tani Cook. Tani, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. How are you? Do you feel weird in a way that if when we're having a conversation, usually we'd be a little bit closer to each other? I feel very far apart from you right now. It's, I know. Well, I feel like I'm on a talk show. So. Do you actually? Yeah, I do. That's cool. Yeah. Like what, if you had to give like what, what talk show would you say? Um, they're kind of all the same, aren't they? Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, very good. Very good. But no, um, thank you for coming. Thank you for, for partaking in this adventure avenue that I go down. And there's a lot to get through with me and you. I'm sure. There's a lot to get through because, you know, it's funny, I think, in life in a way that it's where if you ever say, we can't say in an argument, um, you decided to commit to me. I mean, we did at the end, but we were really just pushed into we this world together. Yeah. We didn't choose each other. No, not at all. Well, we and did now, but mm. at the beginning we didn't. No, no, <laughs> we didn't. I want to know, I want to know. So we're living together now. Yes. We're also having a baby, according to New Idea. According, and it's going to be called Bobby, apparently. Well, that's a fact, but um, no, that new I- we're not having a baby for the record. <laughs> so we're living together. We've lived with each other for how long now? Oh, if What's you- it been? Like a, a, over a month? Yeah. Almost two months? Do you think there's a difference in um, living together on the experiment and living together in real life? I think so. I think you obviously have the, it feels like your space. Mm -hmm. I feel like Sky Suites was like a weird set that was created for us, Mm. but it's kind of like our space. You got bills to pay. Mm -hmm. We've got, yeah, a bunch of other stuff, but it feels different, but it also feels the same. I think the dynamic was nice to explore in Sky Suites, like just seeing what it would be like, i.e. Ollie never cleaning anything up, being messy, mm. et cetera, et cetera. So I got a taste of that um, during the show. Um, and then, yeah, now I think the the benef- I think the most beneficial thing about our current place is it's a lot bigger. A hundred percent. But let's, I, let's explore the Ollie not cleaning anything up. So, okay, okay you've got – it's in a perfect world – a genie comes and he grants you a wish and it's to do with my cleaning and he says, Okay. Ollie will clean this item up every time, no questions asked if I'll grant you that wish. It, it, but it's got to be. Just one item. It's one item that one you get. One category a, of items. That you get a guarantee. Category of items? Or? No, no, no. Uh, I, okay, yeah, I'll go category. I think, hmm. There's like two things that annoy me the most, <laughs> but I don't have to pick and choose. I think I find the most annoying yeah. is the fact that I have things organised to make things <laughs> efficient, mm. i.e. a washing basket. Uh, and then you will literally take off your underwear half a centimetre away from the washing basket as if it's not just the same thing, putting it in the basket. Okay, And but- you make it... <laughs> You put it on the outside. For what reason, I don't know, but... This is my argument, right? That washing basket is not a washing basket. It's a hill. Because of all your clothes. It's a, mou- it's a continual mountain. Yeah, but you are the one putting all your clothes in there and not organising it properly. Let the record show. I will, I will I'm post- putting all my clothes in there. That's what you said. Yeah, because you're dirty. Yeah, but you put them on top and then i got to put them in properly. <laughs> Whatever. No. Anyways, well, but I yeah. I, look. That and yep. then I also dislike. No, how you only you, have one. No, but that's this is different. I dislike 
how you just leave things open. Yeah. You'll like open a cupboard, take something out and then not close the cupboard. The other day, uh, two days ago, I left the house in a bit of a rush. Um, As always. And did you, what did you see? Like, Because I remember leaving the house oh. and I was like, this is going to have the to coffee. be a dis- You just open it up and then you left it, the coffee <laughs> open as well. That fully just open on the kitchen counter. I swear I put it back that time. No, no, no. Or, or your hair wax, always open. I don't think there's been a single time that it's been shut. I remember and there was a time there where I couldn't be bothered getting new hair wax and I was, oh. <laughs> do you want to explain that? Oh, honestly, it's actually been embarrassing. <laughs> um, he, for some reason, just can't keep things together so yeah, no, a lid we got of something that. It's, it's specific so the lid the... of something with the hair wax it... obviously you need to shut the hair wax yeah. to stop it from drying out and he lost the lid okay. so then he'd been using this like dried up hair wax mm. and it was like clumpy as and he was like wetting it and stuff and then there'd be like white chunks in his hair and he'd be going to work like that walking around the streets like that and I remember with a, just a chunk of white wax because you can only see you can, you can only see like on a mirror, I really think it's 2D. You can only see. Okay. So you, you can't see the you can't see the stuff in the no, back. No, but it's not even at the right. back. It's at the front as well. Don't even say that. But there was one day when I came back from work, and you just looked at me and you're like, "Have you had that in there all day?" Yeah. And it was um, it was <laughs> it was a big clump of white yeah. thing, something like like something out of something about Mary. Yeah, that was the vibe. No, but, but it's look. You can just do that. It's fine. If you're happy. Well, I've actually got a list of things that I think you don't know. What's that? <laughs> it's just a Let's go for them. Uh, I don't. I don't have any irritations uh, about you that I'll share on screen. And I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is the biggest difference living together in the real world versus the made-up world of math? Mm. Biggest difference. I should, uh, and hello one? to Tommy, by the way. Yeah. Tommy Hi, from Tommy. A1 Connect. <laughs> Babe, all this stuff here was done by A1 it's Connect. Legit. So if you want to get if you want to get your podcast sorted, Tommy is the man to speak to. So yeah, but great question, Tommy. I would say that uh, we were guided by the show, right? Mm. So now we have to guide Just each nice. other in in a way of. It's now, well, I want to do this. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to do that. Um, and it's learning what battles to go, okay, yeah, I'll compromise there. Or you yeah. go, okay, yeah, I'll compromise mm-hmm. there. Where before we are living in this world where we were the people just being dragged left and yeah, right wherever. Yeah, just doing what you're told. And I Have think you- like, like that as well, just having, you know, like life. Like obviously when you're in the experiment, you're filming, you're just doing what you're just fully consumed in that. But then now you're outside, mm. you know, out in the outside world working, you know, going, doing your thing, hang out with friends. It's like a completely different dynamic. And I feel like you just have more control over mm. your life. Whereas mm. in there you're kind of just, yeah, really absorbed in the experiment. I want to take you to our first day together. Day together. Okay. And. As in the wedding day or like. The wedding day. day. Okay. Yeah. And so we've just met. Mm-hmm. Um, we've had to do four takes of you walking down the aisle. Yeah. We've had to do four times me getting the ring out of the pocket. Yeah. And then as soon as we finish, they completely grab us and take us. Tear our, us apart. Tear us apart, right? <laughs> Where it's like we've just had this time and you just want to have a little mm. chat. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember, right, so I'm like, oh, that that went. That went well. We've had to do our separate little interviews. Mm -hmm. And I come back down the thing and you're not allowed to look at me. You're not allowed to look at me. You're about 50 metres away in this warehouse or wherever. We're like backs turned from each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at you. Now, naturally, the body language that I was getting from you was forced by the producers of you not being allowed to look at me. But I can see you 50 metres away from across the room with your back turned to me, refusing to look at me. And like the natural part of my brain is like, well, this girl is not interested in me. Really? Yeah. And so it's just funny how that 
we had had that great experience and then I remember thinking she hates me yeah well <laughs> just the natural feeling yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, of having to follow the producers and I was like fuck it I'm gonna look at her but I also now know in retrospect how terrified you are of breaking any rule in any law li- in any facet of life be it jaywalking uh, fair you get fined for that I've seen people get fined dude Dude, just walk across the road with the I cars. I hope one day you get fined and I can <laughs> it's be It's not like, happening. It's, it's happening. Whatever. <laughs> I just remember sitting down trying to listen to your Voxy. Really? I was like, what's he saying? Could and I you could hear just anything? hear your voice but I couldn't hear what you're saying. Yeah. Like you just hear bits of it but I couldn't I couldn't really hear much. Because um, I was like, because mm, there's that part of you that's like, oh, shit, like you're nice on camera. It's a great thing to be like, oh, maybe – it's not vibing and he's just trying to be nice. Right. Or like, you know, sometimes you're like, oh. Were you worried that, oh, he could be a certain way on camera but he could also be a certain way off camera? Um, no, that's no, a no. No, I yeah. don't don't think so. I feel like I would have been able to pick that up quite mm. quick. Mm. And I would have been like, you're fake. But yeah. You're not, so. Thank you. <laughs> I, I think also it, it was funny how um, we were both just so desperate for the, the day of the shoot to be done with, mm. right? We were just... We were so – we just wanted it to be over so we could get in our bed together yeah, so. and just sleep with a person that you'd met. Not, Not actually st- – like sleep <laughs> side by side. There's a couple of days after that. But, um, <laughs> and just chat, yeah. right? I, I, mm. But I was so excited to do that. Do you have any like little memories of the day that, that stick out to you that were – Peculiar? Um, I just remember, which no one got to see, like they came home with us. Like we did a whole thing at the place we were staying at and it was just we were both, we had enough. Like we were not, we were not about it. Ollie was so freaking rare. He had drunk like the champagne or whatever they had at the, the house and he was like so red and fired up. I was like, oh, what the hell is going on? Can I tell you what that actually was? What? You had a reaction to something. Do you have an idea of what this could be, Toby? What? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. I... <laughs> what? I had taken... Don't. My mate had give me, given me some Viagra. No, you didn't. <laughs> You're joking. And I had taken no, some... No, you didn't. Oh my mother's life! No, you didn't. I was like afraid. I didn't know what was gonna. I didn't. I don't know. I was drunk. I didn't know what was gonna happen. So oh it was. My God. It was a combination. But why are you so red? Because it was a combination of the wine and my blood being really thin. Jesus Christ! Do I have a photo of that? I bloody hope not. I swear, <laughs> in the mirror, did I take a photo? I can't remember. So that's actually what that was. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Well, you didn't get lucky that night. I did, so. I did, I did. It was fucking a fruitless endeavour at the end. <laughs> Where do you even get Viagra from? Well, I, my, mine was only? black market. Damn. Um, wow. But, yeah, so. <laughs> it was so red. <laughs> That's a little And I was there. the one actually allergic to alcohol and freaking out True. about it. True. You are <laughs> allergic to alcohol. Yeah. You're allergic to alcohol. Well, I I I have self-diagnosed. I mean, I I'm pretty sure I am. Um I yeah, I think when I was like 22, I just remember having I was in a club in London and I had this like fucked up cocktail treasure chest situation. Couldn't tell you what was in it. Yeah. So I was drinking it, I was like getting lit and then I remember being really really hot. And I go in the bathroom and my whole face was red, my neck and it was like under my makeup, I could see like a full rash. And then I was like, what the hell have I been spiked? Thought I was literally going to be date raped. Then left. Um, then any other time I had alcohol, then I just would get really red. But it would be certain alcohols. Yeah, so I think you had red wine mm. uh, like a month ago or something. And you were like puffy, man. Yeah. Like your lips. It was, just it was like cute. a soft version of Will Smith in Hitch. <laughs> When he takes the <laughs> great was, film, yeah, it was exactly like, that. It was puffy, but it wasn't. I was like, I thought you were just lying, so you didn't have to drink at dinner parties, and you didn't have to get into a state. Oh, I was not lying. I remember right on the wedding day. I remember before I walked down the aisle, mm-hmm. I had something in my hair, or something. 
funnily enough. Um, the hair was a, that hair. Like I thought when I went because I went to the makeup lady or the hair lady and she fixed my hair after I walked down the aisle the first time. Yeah. And when I did it, um, she was like exactly like Harry Styles. <laughs> I was like, why the bloody hell would I want to look like Harry Styles? And I learned later on this That's is my other husband. A Harry Styles stand over here. Yeah. And not just a Harry Styles stand, but One a One Direction, di- One Direction stand. We've actually got footage of um, some of your time being a yeah. One Direction stand. Um, flash mob. Tommy, are we able to get that one up? Yeah. This yeah. is iconic. <laughs> I really want to know. I want to know what was going through your mind with some of this. This? Okay. It's what I love here. The right? run walk is so good. What I love so here. The carrot. Wait, why? Okay. What? Why does uh, that girl I deserve know that? If you were a true One Direction fan, you will understand the carrot reference, and I'm not going to go into okay, it. Okay, but the push is the push. <laughs> it's it's in reference to the One Direction fandom, so you don't get it unless you're a One Direction fan. So I, I don't get expect it, man. you to understand. You just try to be mean to a chick, dude. <laughs> no, it's so funny because we would say to her, "We're like, this looks really racist." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, she she she's a she's a great girl. So, so like, this was this. I, was, I actually can't tell who this is. That's me in the pink. She. You're in the, the pink, pink with the braids. Thick dye hair. And that's my sister on the right hand. Ashley looks really tan. Yes. Damn. Okay, can I ask? With the American apparel short. Can I ask, can I ask this? All right, Tony, okay. that's, that's, that's enough. That's all we need to see. That's, Jeez. Oh. that's all we need to I'm see. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> I think it, look, it's very cute. Why the giggle? No, it's very, very cute. You know what? It's so funny because I think back, I was like... Why the hell did I do that? Like, how did I have the confidence to organise that, to film it, put it on YouTube? Like, I just don't know how I did it. And I, I, I don't think me as a person now could have the confidence to do what I did back then. Don't know how. Yeah. Um, but it was a full thing. Like, we had – it was when Twitter was really popping off mm-hmm. and we had connected with a bunch of, like, One Direction fans. We made a Facebook group mm. and then we, like, filmed the it's, – it's crazy how we actually got it – got it happening we filmed tutorials and then we put it in the group to be like hey guys learn this and then we would practice on the weekends in botanical gardens and all the girls would come together and would like have a little picnic catch-up session then practice dancing and then we pulled that out i say it's It's a piece of love it's pretty lame (laughs) no it's not it's not it wasn't good so who edited it it was me wait which one (laughs) both of them i did it with my friend you knew that. <laughs> You're just trying to throw an insult when it actually is really good. Do what you what age were you out? when you did this? Oh, I think I was 22. 17. Oh, wow. What? Did you say 22? Yeah. I'm 17, 18. I want to know though. Okay. Okay, so you're obviously still a One Direction fan now. Of course. When did it reduce? Mm. What year? Because I think it reduced when they broke up. <laughs> When or maybe when Zayn was leaving the band. Yeah. Um, it slowly, I was like, oh, okay. And then, I don't know, I just, I still I still love them. I don't think it's been like reduced completely, but obviously they, they dropped yeah, off. Yeah, but you're so. not as much of a nuffy as you were. You're not, you're not doing What's it. What's nuffy? Like a really good fan. It's not. Um, yeah, but they're not around anymore. Yeah, but okay. So they don't exist. you would be doing flash dances at 27? I was 17. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> when did it reduce? When we all grew up. When they grew up, we grew up. It is beautiful. I do love it. I would love to bring out your Facebook videos. You're saying I'm lame. <laughs> that is, honestly, that is fucking sick. I'm what, proud of that. What's uh, Harry what? Styles liked it. So I don't care if you think it's lame. I, as lame as it is, it's... Ri- I, I wouldn't put that. With the word lame. Okay. No, look, it's it's cute. Yeah, cu- I'll it take is, cute. It is cute and um, it's endearing. Okay. And what are you talking about my lame Facebook videos? I don't have anything. I'll post them. Don't make me. They're nowhere to be seen. <laughs> um, link in the description. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> link in the show notes. And you've told, you've told me in the past as well that the, the One Direction fandom, mm-hmm. it was like – really political as well and there were like there was like internal beefs going on totally 
and like somebody would message you something mean on anonymous. Yeah, I and, think. And you know, you know who it was. I if you're watching know, I can't, this, I can't we know, know who it is, by the way. We're not talking and about that. Sorry, we're not talking. We about know that. it's you. Sorry. We're not talking about. And quite Kaya. frankly, if we have to say, you are such an asshole. <laughs> but <laughs> I love that. <laughs> we know who it is. We don't know who it is. No, we don't. <laughs> what was one of the things that just fatigued you massively because we were all fatigued on this bloody show Mm -hmm. what was one thing that massively took it out of you Mm. the most fatiguing process where you're like oh i think the process i hated the most was the process i hated the most was waiting around yeah i feel like you're not prepared for how much waiting around you'd actually have to do Mm. specifically at the dinner parties and commitment ceremonies I think just the, you're, yeah, you're just sitting doing nothing. You don't have your phone and you're just sitting there with your partner, which would be shit if you didn't get along. But obviously we did. So it was, at least we could speak and have a conversation. Tani, but you were just so annoying. You're lying. You're annoying. <laughs> Am I lying about that? <laughs> no. You are definitely annoying. So you would, we would not even be talking in those things because you would, number one, sleep. Yeah. You get your kid off. Because you had this be- very hot. You had this beautiful dress on, and you'd have to get it all off to sleep. Because I have to lie on the floor, yeah. and, and I didn't want the dress to get dirty. You're on the concrete with this little blanket or something. It was actually so gross, wasn't it? And then I wouldn't be on my medication for my ADHD, and and you'd be throwing a tennis ball at the wall, and I'd be ping pong and yeah. So usually we'd have to wait. We usually have to wait two hours. Wow. Um, for, mm. for for what? So they because they want to irk you. <laughs> They want to get you irritated. Oh, the, so they intentionally keep well, you Well, that's his hypothesis. No, a hundred and thousand billion percent. They want to, they get you in these rooms next to each other. Mm. So these gazebos with flaps down mm-hmm. and you'd peek out. It was like you're in jail, mate. People throwing notes to each other. Um, <laughs> and then... For two hours, you'd you'd be sitting there, mm. and it was always two hours, minimum two hours. I but feel like it felt you were so much right longer. next to each other. If you were talking, if they caught you talking to another person, it, guys, Cut come the on, chat. how many times are we gonna tell you? Yeah, you get in big trouble. Stop. And then, so I would just, and I wouldn't take my medication because I always wanted to go in there, like I don't know, a bit zippy. And <laughs> poor Tani would have to deal. deal with it. And that's, that's the oddest, oddest reason as to why I think she was sleeping. So she would avoid me. <laughs> Remember that time in one of them where I spent I spent the whole hour learning how to gritty? Oh. What's gritty? Oh, no. <laughs> so gritty. Don't get him started. I'll get it. I'll do, I'll do it. I'll do it. No, so, you can't. So gritty is like, it's a dance move. So it's a popular be- sporting dance move where I think I haven't done it for a while because I've been in. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. But I spent, <laughs> I spent the whole, I spent like an hour because it's, it's a very hard thing to perfect. And I spent an hour. And he never did. Well, <laughs> look at that. The results speak for themselves. But I said, <laughs> um, and yeah, I remember I would keep waking Tani up at twenty-five minute intervals. Tans, Tans, and she go. <sighs> <sighs> That's how you wake up, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Do how I wake up. Oh, but you're always just like, wow, That's in my face all the time. <laughs> just constantly so loud <laughs> when I just want to relax. <laughs> Do we have a video? Oh, actually. Oh, yeah. Um, we've got a video of me waking you up in the morning with, a Trump, in, with a Trump impression. Oh. Great. That's so random. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Cook. She is my competitor. And she is a lightweight. You're waking everyone up and feeling. That's a really good Trump impression. Bondi Studio. It's a really good Trump impression. Yeah. What do you think of it? I dislike it. He's another. How frequently does he do it? There's there's one I've been doing recently with Tani, um, wow. awkward guy trying to pick you up at the bar. Yeah. Hey, 
I just saw you from across the room with your friends and I just want to say I, I think you're really beautiful. Gross. <laughs> Disgusting. And then um, she doesn't like it when I do this one. You don't like when oh, I do this. Oh, the it. full on like. No, Trady, you just get a couple of. <laughs> Ew. No, so what we're going to do is leg it down the guts and give it a. Yeah. Okay. And that's pretty much how she reacts every time. Hate it. Um, <laughs> I do feel sorry for you sometimes. But then there's, there's also a part of me, like in the morning, I, there's something I cannot help it. I see an opportunity like I know something's going to playfully irk you and, I, and it's just I, I'm trying not to do it. But no, it's, you're not. It's, it's you're a big, not. It's a big mozza ball in the air. No, I feel Ollie genuinely enjoys pissing me off. Like he really enjoys that. Yeah, but it's I only do it to you. So you like you look at yeah. like my sisters, for example. They no, are your treated, sister cops it. No. I feel like you don't annoy Emily as much as Lucy. No, you know what I do don't. Because she so, like just hates you. I do. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> My youngest sister, she can't. She gets so like I, she, she just it nips much. it in the bud yeah. straight away and just like. Is so I didn't even classify her. No, <laughs> she, she 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 could just be. She, I was she, saying this to all the other day. I was like, I swear, every single phone call conversation I hear he has with his sister Lucy, she's just always annoyed at him, and I just relate to that so much. <laughs> Every single one. At like, least you've got common ground with the family, you know. Like, yeah. Annoying. The family, my production staff, they annoying. all have the same sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will tell you what I love about you, though, is... <laughs> there's what people carrying, like, Victorian age candles <laughs> in the background of our shot here, trying to be <laughs> as quiet as they can. <laughs> but they've got this big fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that. I, I, what I really love about you is your independence. I don't think um, anyone, like, you just go and do it, dude. Um, like, I'll be walking past, sometimes I'll be doing something, and I'll just see you with the fucking screwdriver. And I'm like, what the hell? You got to do it, man. Doing something. Yeah. DIY and, queen. And like, moving. Moving house. I was like, so I was like, who'd you get to help you move last time? She's like, no one. I did it myself. I said the couch is a. My mum helped a bit. I, a nun. That a nun is Tony's mum's name. And she's like, um, mum just watches. She supervises. Does uh, Tommy, what, what did you have? Yeah. So I had a question. Yes. I'm actually not too far away right now from it. But you go to IKEA. Deck out the place. Who's going to be the person that smashes out the desk, the chairs, the tables, screwdriver in hand? Who's 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 better with that? I think we both. Do I'll it, take the big stuff, but you're going to do the little stuff. Yeah. Like I'll take the. Tani's more proactive as well, so I'll be thinking we're going to do this in the next twenty four hours. Um, and I might do one. He doesn't finish it off straight away. Yeah, and then Tani will be like, like I'll catch Tani doing it. I'm like, for God's sake. Just got to get it done. That's, so very proactive, very independent in that way. And that's what um, that's what I do love about you. Yeah. And Thanks. what do you love about me? <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of things. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it's been really good having you on, Secret. Tani Cook. Our podcast, Chuffed. Um, you can listen to that anywhere you get your potties. Um, Tiny and I shooting the shit, talking about all things Rellos, the good, the bad, the... Ugly. That's right. And, um, yeah, it's coming out soon or it might already be out. We don't know yet. We don't know. Tiny Cook, thank you for coming on. I've appreciated it. I think you're beautiful. I love you so much. Um, if you've got any questions, you can email them to I'm at tosser.com. Um, also on YouTube, you can ask questions. On Spotify, you can ask questions. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, A1 Connect. And no we will see you guys next week. If you could just wave. Wait, wait, wait. If you could just wave to the. There we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Tosser.